took his lab coat off, and uh, <laughs> you really freaked me out yesterday. Oh, yeah? Are oh, we yeah. talking about that today? We did. We'll talk about that next week. Okay. I gave him a preview clip for it, but what McGraw is talking about is the new Room, it's called room scale virtual reality equipment came in, I and we're gonna to we're gonna Tim, you know, have you guys both in next week, and we're gonna show it off. It's it's, it's amazing. Freaky. It's, it's freaky. Yeah, where they put this headphone, these goggles on you, and you live in this world, and you have these these hand controllers that mm -hmm. are your hands. Yeah, and so I dropped. It was a bow and arrow game, and I dropped the bow, and so I had to bend down and pick it up. Uh -huh. Fake with these controllers. Yeah. It was. It was so really we're going to talk more about that next week. It's yeah. actually, it's, it's, I'm spending all my time at home playing it. It, it is unbelievable. I'm like a kid again. It's phenomenal. He, he, hasn't, not he hasn't slept in four days. Oh, He's wearing a white, you? white robe with coffee stains all over <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. So <laughs> that, look forward to that next week. It's going to be really cool. We talk all right. About what that. are we doing today? So, today we're just talking about tech stories. There's three big stories in the news this morning. Right. Uh, one which made news actually this morning at about 3 a.m. SpaceX made its second How about this? successful landing of its rocket on its drone barges phenomenally cool and not only do they have the uh, i know if you guys haven't seen it there's a video out from the first landing a yeah. 360 degree mm -hmm. video from the barge it's very cool and you can watch it come down watch it lock in and land but this is huge for space this is huge for privatization of space lowering the costs because that's essentially what these are these are the big but isn't it showing off by landing it on something floating in the ocean i mean can't they land it on on land well they could but you're talking about a rocket full of fuel and fire right. and so like it's safer probably to land it in the middle of the ocean all versus, right. you know, on land mm -hmm. where it could catch fire. Uh, but, you know, this is a really, really big step. It's, mm -hmm. it's lowering the cost because that's the main cost is just throwing away those right. booster rockets every right, time. Right, right. Well, now they can reland them. So uh, Musk is very, very happy, tweeted out this morning that they may need to increase the size of their rocket storage hangers because <laughs> they're actually <laughs> surviving now. So, you know, we'll see where that goes. But that's that's really, really, All right. really yeah. neat. That's one. Cool. So uh, second one, just a reminder to everyone that on July 29th, it's the one-year free upgrade for Windows to Windows 10 ends. So actually, it's been long enough now. If you haven't upgraded your computer to Windows 10, Windows 10 is actually very good. It's it's a big improvement over 8. But I've 8 got a couple of programs that they tell me won't run on Windows 10. Hmm. So I don't want to I don't want to upgrade to Windows 10 because I'll lose these sort of antiquated programs that I like using. Well, you know, it's funny. I haven't ran to any of my programs that have that problem. Even right. ones they warned me about seem to run fine oh. in compatibility mode. Okay. So you might see, and most every program that's being made right now mm -hmm. they've already upgraded the right, right, right. if you have a real antiquated one you might run into that but you might as well get your free upgrade, upgrade before the all 29th right. cuz after that you have to pay for it all and right. so you know and all this right. also includes every upgrade in the future too if you get them that by that point right, so right, you might right. as well lock in your free, free all upgrade right. Mm -hmm. all right. uh, finally just a warning for everyone out there uh, credit card manufacturers right now are warning of brand new credit card skimmers hey imagine that which are really really bad things if you're not familiar with them there's these little devices that Thieves can essentially put over the credit card machines very right. quickly that almost look like nothing's there. Mm -hmm. And then you stick your credit card in, you're sticking it through this machine and into the credit card mm -hmm. right. machine. So the ATM gives you your money like normal. You don't know that anything's happened, but meanwhile, they've stolen your... Even with the chip? I was going to say, even the if you chip, have a chip? No, the chips actually solved this problem. Okay, so good. a lot of the chips that... and. Mind you, I'm sure the hackers and thieves will catch up. Right, to it. right, right. But for now, the chips are much safer. The big thing they're warning is that these skimmers, they often use a little pinhole camera up on the... ATM in order to get people's pins as well. Right. So kind of look mm. at what Jeez. you ATM before oh, you stick there. your card in. Make sure there's nothing suspicious, no cameras. If yeah. you see anything suspicious at all, yeah. just don't use the ATM. How do you know if it's uh, not the camera by the bank? Well, the, by the bank. well, that's part of the problem. All yeah. right, uh, Larry, uh, <laughs> we're short on time. First rule, Larry Senneback, get back to the dungeon. We'll yes, talk sir. to you next week. See you guys. 757 Bye. KTRS. Randy Naughton here to say that True Clean Carpet is truly Not one of the...